shoot. We'll just use that old big brush. It's working pretty good for us. We'll tap in a little titanium white, and let's start up in here and just begin putting in some basic cloud shapes. Just titanium white. That's all we're using here because we already had some crimson on the brush. We have blue and crimson already on the canvas, and it's continually, continually going to mix. So automatically, you're going to get all kinds of little variations anyway. There. We'll just sort of blend that layer out, blend out the base of them, fluff them a little bit, just a little, and very lightly, very lightly, just go over them, just to sort of blend them all together. Go back into our white, and maybe there's another little layer here. But work on one layer of clouds at a time. Don't get greedy. <laughs> Sometimes it gets, it gets working good, and it feels good, and you just get carried away. Do one little layer at a time. Now then, let's take that one. Just, just blend it out here on the bottom. Just blend it out, then we'll fluff it a little bit. There. And see, there's a little separation between them. A little bit more white, maybe. Yep. Right there we have just another happy little cloud. They just float around here and have a good time all day. Good time. There we go. I think you're going to enjoy this painting, the, the black gesso and, and then the use of some colored gessos and liquid clear makes beautiful, beautiful effects. We've tried, to, we've tried to devote a large part of this series to showing that because I'd had so many cards and letters from people asking about it. So I think you're going to enjoy this one. I have some, I have some good ideas here. We'll just see if we can pull them off. There. Maybe the little cloud just floats right along in here. I don't know where he lives. But we have a huge big cloud that lives in our in our world already. Shoot, I'm, maybe there's a little over in here too, you can see. Maybe he's just a little soft cloud. Now then, I'm gonna fluff that. And very lightly, three hairs and some air. Just blend the entire canvas. Isn't that easy? We got some pretty good old clouds there. Some of the edges you can just you can just fuzz them out and let them just float around because you don't you don't always see the entire cloud. It just sort of gets soft and just sort of floats around. Now, just use the same old brush. I think today to show you how easy this is, we'll only use let's just use a two-inch brush and maybe a knife. <laughs> That'll be a challenge. I'm going to go right into a little bit of the white paint. Well, something like so. Just tap the bristles in there. Let's go back up in here. We said we was going to have a big old cloud that lives in our sky. So we'll just take that and sort of tap it. Just tap. All we're looking for now is just a very basic shape for our little cloud, or big cloud. Let's have a big cloud. There. About like so. And once again, you decide in your world where all the little clouds and things live. It's totally and completely up to you. You can have them anywhere that you want. Maybe, let's go right here. Just drop something in like that. There. Maybe a little more. There. All we're doing is putting in a basic shape at this point. Very basic. Then I'll get to wash the old brush again. I just like to wash the brush because it's a lot of fun. Same way. Shake off the excess and... <laughs> Just beat the devil out of it. There. And sometimes I'll, I'll take the brush and go across a paper towel just to be sure that it's really, really dry as I can get it. Now very gently, very gently, one hair and some air. We just wanna, just wanna fluff this big old group of clouds that we have here. Just fluff them up. There, tease them a little bit. And then very lightly, just caress them. Go gently, gently across them. Something like so. And that easy. We have fantastic clouds in our sky. There. See, nothing to it. You can do this. You absolutely can do this. Let's have a big cloud. For that, I'm gonna go into the titanium white. I'll be right back. Don't go away. There. Put a little bright red with it. Shoot, let's make a firecracker, sparkler. Go up in here. Maybe in our world there lives 
big old cloud right up in here. It just sort of floats around, has a good time all day. You know, clouds are one of the freest things in nature, I believe. So just let them go. Shoot, let them have fun. Let them have fun wherever you want them. Let them go. There. Maybe, I don't know. Just, just decide where these clouds live in your world and put them in. Put them in. And don't just, don't just try to copy what we're doing here. Shoot. This is a very free style of painting. We don't use any patterns. We don't trace anything. We just let it happen. And that really is the beauty of all this. We'll just pull a little bit down in here. But notice I'm not covering up all this nice yellow color. I want some of it to show through the cloud. There. Maybe over in here there's some more. Whatever. Whatever. Now today, I'm going to get our little, our little soft blender brush. Very gentle, soft little brush. And just blend the base of that out a little bit. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Barely touching. Just caress the canvas a little. There we go. Something about like that. And you can fluff it a little bit. Blend it. There. A little old cloud or shoot, it's a big old cloud. It's just sitting right up there in the sky. Now then, we can take, I'll just use the blender because this blender is sort of unique. You can paint with it. I'm going to put a least little touch of the of that bright red on there. A little bit of white with it. And just begin putting in all kinds of gorgeous little things that just float around. There they go. There they go. Reach over here and get a touch of that lavendery color we were using. Just a least little touch. There. See, this blender is so soft, you can just get in here and work all this color without it all blending together. Of course, if you blend it long enough, it will just blend together. But you can put all these things in there just by doing that. Maybe there's one. Go back to my pinks every once in a while. It's up to you. Up to you, wherever, wherever you think it should be. There we go. See, all kinds of little things. Least, least little touch of the thalo blue, maybe. Whew, ooh, that's nice. Be careful that you don't hit that yellow, though, or we'll have a brilliant green sky, and we're not looking for that. Not in this particular painting. Maybe sometimes, but not now. Not now. There's a nice little cloud floating right there. All right, a little bit of bright red and white again. And maybe up here in our sky, let's just put, while we have this old brush working so well, let's just put the indication of some little floaters around in here. Just enough to break it up. See, just, just little floaters there. Something like that, wherever, wherever you make the decision. But isn't that brush fantastic for doing things like that? Or you can paint right over that firm paint that we already have up there. Maybe over in here we got a little more. Very soft, gentle, quiet. There. All right. I get carried away sometime. Okay. Now maybe, I tell you what, maybe in our world, Maybe, 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 maybe. Let me grab a fan brush. There's one. Let's take a little bit of that lavender color that was just a thalo blue, lizard and crimson, right on the fan brush here. And maybe, let's go up in here. All right, let's do this. Let's put a nice dark cloud in here. That contrast will, it'll sparkle. It'll absolutely sparkle. There. Maybe we'll put a wild shape on this one. There we go. Got a little bump that lives right there. When I was a kid, I used to sit around and you know, my brother and I, we'd look at clouds and we'd pick out all kinds of shapes. We'd see the mean old witch or the, or the candy man or whatever. And they all lived in the clouds. You can see all kinds of shapes in there if you just spend a little time and study it and you got a good imagination. All kinds of things. Back to my little blender. Now then, 
just softly, softly blend this a little. Don't have to do it much. And you can just bring it all together. Looks like that old cloud just sort of floats right around the corner there. Just like that. There we go. All right. Come right on out like that. Shoot, maybe there's some nice things happening down here. Just take that color that you picked up and use it. Let these things happen. Let them happen. And very lightly. That's where the blender brush really works well. Now, I think, I think today, I'll take a little phthalo blue, some alizarin crimson, mix it together proportionately. Much, much more crimson than blue. I want sort of a reddish lavender color, maybe a touch more blue in it. There, I think that's just right. Just right. Wipe off the knife. And let's use a, we'll use a fan brush today. Load a little color in the fan brush just by going back and forth. That's all. Okay. And maybe in our world there lives a bravery test right off today. A big old strong cloud lives right up here. Just floats around and has a good time all day. There we go. There. Big old cloud. Mm. I said a big strong cloud. I guess I was serious. But I'm going to start on the cloud that's the darkest, which to me would be this one. And maybe we'll make a few more. But now we're beginning to, to have less paint on the brush. Less and less paint. So automatically it's going to get a little, little lighter in value. Shoot, let the canvas work. The brushes work, the color. Just go with it. Go with it. As I've mentioned before, this is certainly the lazy man's way of painting. And I look for easy ways. Maybe there's a little paint left on the brush. Maybe there's a little cloud lives right there. I don't know. I don't know. Just basically wherever you think they should be. We'll put several in here just so you have a little practice with clouds. There, maybe. Okay, okay, right there. A little stringy one. Something like so, maybe even one over here. But that's really all we need. There. That had a little color on it, but I just banged it to knock the color off, and we can go in here and, and just blend this some. This will pick up the excess paint. There. Tell you what, I want a softer brush. I'm going to pick up the blender brush so I can get in here and, and make all kinds of little soft things happen. Very gentle. With this blender brush, you can go right over all this without mixing it together. Just bring it together. There. Something about like that. That's all we're looking for today. And that gives us a sky full of clouds. Now maybe, maybe in our world, there's just a happy little cloud that lives up here. This is pure midnight black. Pure black. This is going to be sort of, sort of like an evening or early night scene. I guess that sounds right. I want it dark. This is our world, so we can, we can create all kind of illusions in it. There we are. Maybe a big old floaty cloud that lives right up through here somewhere. Just using the corner of the brush, a little more paint. And we'll just begin applying this however we want it. Think about little forms and shapes in your clouds and just let them happen. Clouds are interesting. You see all kinds of things in them. Shoot, when we were kids, my brother Jim and I, we used to, we used to sort of lay on our back out in the field and look up at clouds and see all kinds of crazy shapes in them. I bet you've done that too, whether you'll admit it or not. <laughs> there you go. But you see all kinds of shapes in there. There. Wherever, 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 it doesn't matter. There we go. This is the last show of the 28th Joy of Painting series. So I'm certainly glad you're with us today. Certainly glad you're with us. There. Because this is really the highlight of my whole life, is to make these shows and to join you in your home or wherever you happen to be and paint along with you. There. That's what I think every artist craves and needs, is for people to accept his work. And through television, you have done that. 
This has become the most popular art show in the history of television. And it's your fault. And I thank you very, very much for your support, for all the calls and the letters that have went to stations all over the country, literally all over the world now. That's what keeps us on the air. So if you have time, give them a call. Give them a call. They need your support anyway. All right. And we can put just a couple over here somewhere. Now then, tell you what let's do. I'm going to get one of my little blender brushes and take and just tap one little corner into the least little bit of titanium white. Tiny little bit. You can always add more. And maybe right here behind this cloud, there's a little light coming out. So we're just going to paint with a blender brush because I want it to be very soft, very gentle. This takes very little paint, very little paint. And it's going to mix with the blue. And we'll just have a light source coming from right behind that cloud. There we go. See, looks like it, maybe the moon's back here. Maybe it's coming out of this side too. We don't know. But see, in your world, you can create any illusion that you want. Any illusion. That's what's so great about this. Mm. I like painting because it gives me total freedom. And it's the only place in my whole life that I've had total freedom to do anything that I wanted to do, to create any illusion that I needed, to go to any world that was desirable. There, and you can do that. You can do that. There we are. But isn't that neat, the way it looks like now, light's coming from behind that little rascal? And that's all there is to it. There, firm that cloud up just a little bit with the old two-inch brush. And that's basically all I'm going to do for this guy. When you're doing yours, you may want to put a little more detail in. It's up to you, up to you. But this will certainly show you how to do it. What you do is up to you. Okay, maybe in our world there's a happy little cloud just sort of floats around in the sky up here and has a good time. There, a little more color. There we are. See, just let it float around though. Clouds may be one of the freest things in nature. So just let them go. Let them have a good time in your world. All right. Now then, back to a two inch brush. And very gently, I'm just gonna blend that back edge out till it disappears right into nothing. Then we'll fluff the cloud. See there? Just sort of fluff it up. Fluff it up. All right. And it gives us an indication of a little cloud that's living far away. Tell you what. Shoot. Cloud needs a little friend. So we'll give him one. Lives right there. Just a happy little guy. In my world, everything is happy. So we have happy little clouds and happy trees. All right, there we go. And once again, I beat the brush just to knock any, any excess paint off of it so I don't have to go through the whole cleaning procedure. There. And if you just have a little paint on the tip, that way you can clean the brush without going through all the washing and splattering everybody. It just makes it a lot easier. There we are. Something about like that. And I just want the indication of some little happy clouds, as I say, far away. Don't want a lot of detail. Let's go right up in here. Uh, take that corner, it has a lot of paint in it. And I'm just, I'm just gonna tap in a basic little cloud shape. We're really not too concerned, just a little basic shape. Happy little cloud that floats around here in the sky. There we are. Now, now I've got several of each brush going here. So I'm gonna get a nice dry two inch brush. And I'm gonna tap the base, the back of the, cloud there till it disappears and then very lightly very lightly three hairs and some air just very lightly blend over that and that quick we got a happy little cloud just floating around there I'm gonna do the same thing one more time and in our world maybe maybe there's a little cloud that hangs around here cloud just sort of they sort of hang out have a good time. Now, you see the reason I put the dark in is so that light looks brighter. That little bit of black that we added darkened the color enough so the white now looks much brighter than it would have. 
in order in order to show light you need dark dark is what makes it's what makes white show or light color period it doesn't have to be white it could be any color that's light but you need that dark contrast to make it jump out and, and sing for you otherwise it'll just sort of go away and leave you standing there by yourself once again good dry two inch brush clean well relatively clean and then we'll fluff this up just fluff it fluff it fluff it there sort of the way I take care of my hair I just grab it and lift it and tease it a little bit off we go there we are see now we have another layer of clouds that's easy anybody can paint clouds shoot it's working so well maybe there's a maybe there's another little doer right in there I don't know you just it starts working and you start getting carried away and you, you just start playing with these little rascals which is great because it gives you a lot of practice back to my clean brush now if your brush has just a little bit of paint on it you can just beat the devil out of it like that and it'll it'll clean it off without going through that entire cleaning procedure because I'm noted for being lazy and I look for ways to do these things that are easy there we are something like that now I'm gonna take titanium white just plain old titanium white and tap the brush into it just tap it like so one corner basically let's go up in here now maybe see I left a little area sort of open there because I want a little cloud to live right in there I'm just going to sort of tap it in and let it let it wander right off the canvas a little more of the white we just sort of let it wander around clouds are one of the freest things in nature and they just sort of float around and have a good time all day there something about like that wherever you want them that's exactly where they should live in your world exactly where they should live maybe yeah why not we'll have one up here too just drop them in okay let me grab a little blender brush with a blender brush here we can very gently just blend this the blender brush is so soft that you can go right over the paint without causing any major disasters there we are fluff it up a little bit isn't that one of the easiest nicest ways you've ever seen of making a fluffy little cloud that lives in your world there you can do it let's build this Today, a happy little cloud. I'm gonna take a little titanium white, right on the old two inch brush, same old brush. And let's go up in here and let's just drop in the indication of some little clouds that live up in here. Maybe, wherever, it doesn't much matter. Wherever you think they should live, that's exactly where they should be. Just some basic little shapes. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab a, a blender brush here. This is a very, very soft little blender brush. It allows you just to blend these things together. That easy, that easy. All right. See how easy it is to make a fantastic little cloud? You can do this. All you need is a little practice, the right equipment, and off you go. Okay. That's what makes this style of painting so unique and so wonderful, is that anybody can do it. You don't, you don't have to be blessed by Michelangelo at birth. You can create a beautiful painting. Yeah, you can do it. All right, maybe another little happy cloud lives right here. Notice we're doing them in layers, though. Now then, back to my little blender. La, 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 and there we are. Just blend it away, blend it away, wherever you want it to go. There. See, but this keeps the edge nice and firm there by doing it in layers. So don't get greedy. I know, it gets good, and you don't want to stop. You want to do them all at one time. But take your time, take your time. Just try to do one at a time. There, maybe. I'm just letting this sort of dance around. Maybe it comes right out here, wherever. We're gonna have some big clouds in the sky today. So you just decide where you want them and drop them in really that easy just tap them in maybe there's even a little bit goes off in here somewhere back to our little blender that's all I'm doing just picking up the blender and then we'll begin putting these together just blend them away 
very softly. We're gonna have a monster sky in this one, I can tell. There, that little blender brush though. It's so soft you can go right over the paint without mixing it all up. There we go. I wanna just feather those edges out till they're very quiet. You almost don't see them. They just sort of disappear. There we are. About like half, that's all we need. That's all we need. Mm. Already that's looking like a pretty nice little sky. I like to do skies like this, they're a lot of fun. A little more white, I'm not stopping yet. I think we'll just put another happy little cloud in there. Maybe it comes around like that, goes off. You make a decision in your world, you decide where everything lives, the clouds, the sky, little birds, there.